Hello everybody and welcome to roster decisions that I regret uh, from my swing career. I'm going to be talking about things I wish I didn't upgrade and sometimes things I wish I got sooner or uh, things I gave too many abilities to, used too much gear, missed time things. It could be anything. Uh, but a good place to start is a more recent regret and that's Trench. Uh, there's a few things I regret with him. Uh, one thing I'm glad I didn't do is give him... Um, is Omicrons, but I do regret giving him all his Zetas. That's three Zetas I'm not getting back, and Zetas are tough. Uh, they are at a premium right now, can't get enough of them, and yeah, I could have had them save for later. Galactic Legend Leia's coming up, if she's like every other Galactic Legend, that's six Zetas. So, plenty of stuff there that, um, I could have made use of. Also, I regret kind of taking him to relic seven um but taking him to relic seven instead of just like relic five was a way to get a temporary boost on him using the set a datacron which is still active but i i haven't gotten too much out of it because i'm never willing to part with watt um and after it, he's gonna be just pretty bad and another thing i regret with him is getting him seven star right away. And that's not to say that I regret getting red box. I have never missed a red box in Conquest. I think if you can get it, it's the obvious choice to go ahead and get it. Um, even if you don't like a character, you're not sure if they're gonna be good, just get red box and you'll get them eventually. But I wish I didn't buy the shipment uh, of Trenches Shards. Cause that would be three full Conquests that I was able to save over 2000 Conquest currency, 2100 Conquest currency. That's 6,300 Conquest currency. I could have used it on other stuff, uh, mainly signal data. I probably could have cleared out the whole store of the Wandering Scavenger, every con all three of those Conquests, uh, made out like a bandit. I forget where it is, but you could just get all of it. Signal data is such a tight bottleneck, and it's the best thing to buy with that currency. Uh, so yeah, I wish I just skipped out on that for Trench and just got him eventually through the mechanic or you get a few extra uh, So you get 30 I w in the of the like second most recent character I would have gotten him after like five But I really just wanted to rush to unlock which I wish I didn't do Next regret is Commander Ahsoka Tano and I know what you're thinking Why would you ever regret anything about developing Commander Ahsoka Tano? Well, I don't. I don't regret giving her R8. I don't regret any saves or anything or giving her my fastest speed set possible out of any of my characters. I regret not unlocking her right away. I did not unlock her right away. It was way before I was doing YouTube, so no one knew about it. Um, but I just didn't want to spend the Conquest currency on shards in that second Conquest. I also didn't do it for the Razor Crest because I didn't have BAM either. So I just hadn't gotten in the mindset of you need to spend this currency on these character shards. And I was just kind of lazy in evaluating her. The whole community was talking about how she was going to get a one-turn insta-kill once JMK came out. But at that point, I think I was too late um, to like unlock her right away because I didn't, hadn't been buying all the shipments. Um, and then I had to wait for a second conquest and then just buy the crystal sh uh, shipments for her shards too. I did get her after four conquests, but I wish I got her right away because obviously she was amazing right away. Um, and I got JFK before I got her. Uh, so after that, I have done that for like pretty much every character except I skipped Dad Bod Boba, which I'm glad I did. Uh, but I got Maul right away after that mistake. Speaking of Dad Bod Boba, I regret taking him to Relic 5 right away once I unlocked him because I effectively got zero use out of him for a long time. Now, there have been some recent Grand Arenas where I did utilize him to take out Malgus, uh, but that was like. Pretty much the only use I, I got out of him. I did not commit to the Territory War Omicrons. Um, I, in general, I don't have a lot of those, but I just used a lot of relic materials that uh, I could have saved for someone else, and especially signal data, you can never get enough of that. So uh, precious resources wasted and only for just a tiny fraction of a benefit later on. Moving on from the Conquest characters now, uh, the next regret I have is farming Vandor Chewbacca and not necessarily taking him to gear 12. I'm not going to miss the gear, but I farmed all his shards kind of late and I still didn't commit to give him the resources to get him to R5 or give him his Zeta or anything. Uh, so he's, he is still effectively unusable for me. Uh, but the reason I really regret it, and this is not something I could have foreseen, they just like put, they put Tarful on the same node. Like I could have gotten him 
just easily for free. Uh, instead, I wasted a lot, a lot of energy farming him, uh, and it's not even a really great node for the backup gear. So effectively, I'm farming him, farming him twice, and I'm getting charge up currency now. But if only I knew. I wish I would have waited until they put Tarful on this char this uh, node as well. Next regret is a Zeta, and there's not too many Zetas I regret. Uh, there are some, but one is Young Lando, and it's not necessarily that I had a lapse of judgment or anything. I was literally just trying. To, I had already relic uh, L3, so I was like, eh, let me just gear Lando a little bit to make this ship a little bit better. And I was just kind of absentmindedly clicking upgrades. I took him to gear 11, stopped short of gear 12. Honestly, it wouldn't hurt to take the gear 12 right now. Um, and I was upgrading his abilities, and I forgot to even pay attention to the fact that he had a Zeta. And I give him a Zeta, and this is zero use. I don't know if I'll, like, literally ever get use out of this. I don't know if they're going to come back around as smugglers. I mean, Dash was a year and a half ago as an effort to bring back the prepared squad. And young Lando, I don't, he doesn't even, like, work on that team like as the best comp so just a complete loss just a total waste of his aid unlike trench where i actually am using him somewhere the next development i regret is kind of a package deal and it is the leadership zeta on karth as well as missions zeta um i think i did this at the time where you know you had to unlock malak and you're trying to make use of the team and I got these two Zetas on there. Um, I didn't get the Zalbar Zeta, which is actually better. I should have put it on him instead of Mission first. But honestly, I wish I didn't have it, have it on either of these. The time has come and gone where people tried to force the Karth team on defense. And maybe it'll change at some point. Maybe there will be some kind of upgrade um, that makes it work. But these are just total wastes of Zetas. Uh, Gear 12, I used to regret on them back when it was a little bit more scarce. And I gave them some left side pieces. Um, but now, like, just getting to gear 12, I have so much gear, it's, it's hard to, like, regret that right now, but I do regret it for, uh, when they, when I did it. Um, that being said, Evan Hawk is still a good ship, so Karth is not totally a waste, uh, but Mission, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I, they, they're not even in my top five for the crate, the raid, I use Sorty and Juhani, and it works, I just, I still get the max crate for the Relic 5 one. I only need one more R7 to make to do uh, do the higher tier, and actually I could try out Candorous, uh, but that would steal from Maul, so that wouldn't be be good. Uh, but yeah, definitely regret Karth and Mission Zeta. And once again, we have a Zeta I regret, and it is Imperial Pro Droid. I think I gave this Zeta to him right before the Great Nerf of 2021. When the Vader vs. Ray counter was just destroyed. This was this used to be key for stuff like that, where you can keep buffs off permanently as long as there's target lock out there. Um, it was mainly for that mishmash uh, Darth Vader counter. Um, it can work now in other ways, but I I don't feel like giving him the relics. Um, I mean, maybe I should. Some people occasionally are like, "Why don't you bring IPD with the with the Afra?" And maybe I should. I, probably look into that more but it's not like I see him a lot in the the battle history in successful matches um him or b2 I think b2 is better because he's gonna get more turns and more opportunities to put buff immunity but yeah I have gotten essentially zero use out of it but again it was something kind of outside of my control because I didn't see that nerf coming uh next up this is a short one this is Jawa you need him at r3 for Java and I took him to r4 uh, just because absentmindedly I thought it was R4 and I was clicking so fast that even when I popped up and said like check you got him on R3 for Java in the journey guide it was too late I wasted the resources a little bit of signal data I'm never getting back another relic regret I have is a package deal Stormtrooper Han and Rebel Officer Leia Organa Rolo of course you need at R3 for Commander Luke or no Jedi, Matt, Jedi Knight Luke so many Luke's uh, so I don't regret that, but I took her to R5 and Stormtrooper Honda R5 in, in expectation of using them alongside alongside Sanostaros. But I have effectively gotten zero value out of it. I do use it sometimes in territory or on defense, but I didn't. I wasn't able to fully commit to it because I couldn't spread the Zetas. Right now I still can't. I, I'm not going to give this to Stormtrooper Han. Um, and I don't know. It's just not... 
it hasn't done anything for me in Grand Arena. I just don't feel comfortable setting it. Anytime I see this team, I'm like, oh, good. It's a team I don't have to worry about. It's, it's easy. And, you know, you can do some crazy stuff if you put really high relics on Rolo in uh, 3v3 or something. But effectively, I just wasted a lot of signal data and relic materials. Uh, those bronze and wirings are brought, that bronze and wiring is useful as well. And this guy was a not needed at relics for anything. And I mean, maybe, no, he's, I don't think you'd use him in the new raid. So yeah, I just regret those two. Another rebel I regret giving extra relics to is Mon Mothma. And I took her, <laughs> you can't even see it, this covers it. Well, that's a seven, it's coming to the top. I took her to R7 back during set two to make use of her specialized Datacron and I had it, uh, but I didn't get too much value out of it back even back then and now I just have her R7. I barely use the team anyway and even when I do, like it doesn't matter. She's, I've never, I don't know if I've ever had her die before the rest of her team dies, so it doesn't matter. I have the extra survivability. Um, I mean, I guess if it were if it were to happen with R5 while I had her R7, I wouldn't know about it. But everything else, like she doesn't do damage herself. It's all just kit based and just needs to take some hits and have some speed. So literally got nothing out of it. Not literally nothing, but now it's just doing nothing for me. It's an ops unit for my guild in the new TB, uh, but terrible character to have R7. This is one of the last, if not the last, regret I have with my roster. It's not giving more R9s to my Galactic Legends. Um, at this point, I only have six R9s, and half of them are Sith Empire now. Um, and the other Two of them are Fleet Commanders, and then one is a Galactic Legend. So I really don't give R9 out until I absolutely need to. Uh, but I have Lord Vader favorited here. I'm a I actually am going to take him to R9 soon. Him, and then maybe Rey... Uh, cause yeah, Galactic Legend Leia is coming out, but the big bottleneck for me with those Galactic Legends is always the newest characters. I usually have all the Relic stuff ready to go by the time, before I finish off seven starring new marquee characters for it. So whenever they have Nisa and then Drogon's not even out yet, like those are going to take a long time and I'll get the Relic materials by then. So I'm probably going to take Lord Vader R9, then Rey, um... I don't know if I'll do Supreme Lord Kylo or Sith Eternal Emperor, but I have the mats mostly for it. Um, the new raid is helping me out a lot with the impulse detectors and the Zen Biddles. Uh, I mean, impulse detectors, I don't have a ton right now, but I can get them. And then Gerda keypads, you know, since I've only been farming that furnace node, I those are easier to get when I need to. And I have plenty of droid brains to spare um, when I need to get up. Just It's just the signal data. It's, it's really expensive. Um, that's just the biggest bottleneck ever. For me, the biggest bottlenecks are signal data, new character shards, uh, and it's not really even as much gear anymore. Um, but yeah, I wish I had more Galactic Legends at R9 by the now. Other than that, there's not too much I regret. There's some things that I felt iffy about when I did it, but then felt more and more comfortable over time. But R8 on Darth Vader at one point, I wasn't sure. It was a little bit early. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was a good idea, but it definitely was. Uh, already on General Grievous, Fennec Shand is also one where I was like, should I, shouldn't I? And, and it's been nice. I mean, I don't, there was like one battle that I lost when she was R7, and it definitely would have worked out if she was R8. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't regret it. I don't regret taking the Java team to R8, even though they're having this new raid really soon. Uh, it's still a great team. I don't regret Sorry to R7 for the Datacron. She's still a nice character. Um, a lot of these up here are R7 because of requirements or they had a Datacron or something. Um, China Anakin at R8, I mean, it's like half a regret. I did it when I was distracted. I was at a board game convention in February and for TB, it was still new enough. I wanted to max up my ways every time I could, every attempt, and I... I platoon Grandmaster Yoda, and then I didn't have enough Jedi at R8 to do a battle on Luthal. So in just my distracted frenzy, I took Anakin to R8 just so I could attempt that mission, and I did win. Um, and it is kind of nice to have him, but he's just, I mean, not totally worth it at R8. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think there's any anything else too much that I regret. I've, I've been fortunate to have 
made good roster decisions. Um, I'm very selective and very stingy with my resources, and I think it served me well over time. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. A like if you enjoyed, sub, all that stuff. Uh, let me know what you think of my new studio area. I added some pads to help with the acoustics. I uh, hope that's working so far, and then also added a little bit more Star Wars scenery, a uh, poster of all the movie covers from the prequels, uh, which are my favorite movies. Uh, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys.